O radiant light, O sun divine, of God the Father's deathless face, O image of the light sublime, that fills the heavenly dwelling place, Lord Jesus Christ, as daylight fades, as shine the lights of eventide, we praise the Father with the Son, the Spirit blessed and with them one. O Son of God, the source of life, praise is your due by night and day. Unsullied lips must raise the strain of your proclaimed and splendid name. Amen. Alleluia. <coughs> o God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Lord, each for your master wait observant of his heavenly word and watchful at his gate let all your lamps be bright and trim the golden flame gird up your loins as in his sight for awesome is his name watched is your lord's command and while we speak he's near mark the first signal of his hand and ready all appear O oh, happy servant he, in such a posture found, he shall his lord with rapture see, and he with honour crowned, Christ shall the banquet spread with his own royal hand, and raise that faithful servant's head amidst the angelic band, ye servants of the Lord, each for your master wait, observant of his heavenly word and watchful at his gate. <clears throat> Vespers or evening prayer of Wednesday, the second week of Advent from the Liturgy of the Hours, Volume 1, Advent Season, Christmas Season, published by Catholic Book Publishing Corporation. <coughs> New York, New York, 1975, with the propers found on page, beginning on page 231, and the ordinary beginning on page 867. Eagerly we await the fulfillment of our hope, the glorious coming of our Savior. And we have lit the two candles of the Advent wreath for the second week of Advent, and we have lit the Hanukkah menorah for the <coughs> seventh day of, of Hanukkah, as we remember the Maccabee martyrs who died for the faith, their faith, and we remember the uh, growth of anti-Semitism, uh, Jew hate in our day, and our resolution to combat it, and to combat every hatred of every group, of every ethnicity, of every race, of every caste. For the Lord is come and has revealed that we are to treat one another as true loving family. <coughs> Page 867. Eagerly we await the fulfillment of our hope, the glorious coming of our Savior. Psalm 62. May God, the source of our hope, fill your hearts with peace as you believe in him. Romans 15:13. In God alone is my soul at rest, my help comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, 
my fortress I stand firm, how long we will all attack one man to break him down, as though he were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence. Their plan is only to destroy, they take pleasure in lies. With their mouth they utter blessing, but in their heart they curse. In God alone be at rest my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath, great men an illusion. Placed in the scales, they rise. They weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your hearts on riches even when they increase. For God has said only one thing, only two do I know, that to God alone belongs power, and to you, Lord, love, and that you repay each man according to his deeds. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord God, you reward each one according to his works. Hear us as we pour out our hearts to you, seeking your grace and secure protection. We look to you for our stable hope <coughs> in a constantly changing world. And to find one, eagerly we await the fulfillment of our hope, the glorious coming of our Savior. May God turn his radiant face toward us and fill us with his blessings. Psalm 67, people of all nations will worship the Lord. You must know that God is offering his salvation to all the world. Acts 28, 28. <coughs> o God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your way be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice, with fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. <coughs> May God still give us his blessing, till the ends of the earth revere him. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let all the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Be gracious and bless us, Lord, and let your face shed its light on us, so that we can make you known with reverence and bring forth a harvest of justice. Amen. Antiphon 2. May the Lord turn his radiant face toward us and fill us with his blessings. Antiphon 3. Through him all things were made. He holds all creation together in himself. Maranatha, 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 Maranatha. Come, O Lord, come, Lord Jesus. The Lord is coming. Maranatha, Maranatha, Maranatha. The Canticle of Colossians 1, verses 12 to 20. Christ, the firstborn of all creation, and the firstborn from the dead. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. Alleluia, alleluia, 
Alleluia. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. <coughs> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may his, be his in everything. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Maranatha, Maranatha, Maranatha. The Lord is coming. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Antiphon 3. Through him all things were made. He holds all creation together in himself. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, from the fourth chapter, the fifth verse. Stop passing judgment before the time of the Lord's return. He will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and manifest the intentions of hearts. At that time, everyone will receive his praise from God. Responsory. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Alleluia, Alleluia. <coughs> Let your face shine upon us and we shall be saved, Lord God of power and might. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. Alleluia. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Alleluia. Alleluia. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Antiphon for the Magnificat. Zion, you will be renewed, and you will see the just one who is coming to you. The Canticle of Mary, the Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty-handed. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Zion, you will be renewed.
and you will see the just one who is coming to you, the intercessions. We humbly pray to Jesus Christ, who rescues us from the darkness of sin, and in faith we cry out, Come, Lord Jesus. Lord, gather together all the people of the earth, and establish with them your everlasting covenant. Come, Lord Jesus. Lamb of God, you came of old to take away the sin of the world, purge us from the dregs of our guilt. Come, Lord Jesus. You came to recover what was lost. Come once again in your mercy, lest you punish what you have recovered. Come, Lord Jesus. Our faith seeks you out. Let us find everlasting joy with you when you come. Come, Lord Jesus. You will judge the living and the dead. Graciously gather the dead into the ranks of the blessed. Come, Lord Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O powerful Father, we await the healing power of Christ your Son. Let us not be discouraged by our weaknesses as we prepare for his coming. Keep us steadfast in your love. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, quickly come, dread judge of all, for us and though thine advent be, all shadows from the truth will fall, and falsehood die in sight of thee. Oh, quickly come, for doubt and fear, like clouds dissolve when thou art near, O oh, quickly come, for doubt and fear, like clouds dissolve when thou art near. O oh, quickly come, great King of all, reign all around us and within, let sin no more our souls enthrall, let pain and sorrow die with sin. O oh, quickly come, for thou alone canst make thy scattered people one. O oh, quickly come, for thou alone canst make thy scattered people one. O oh, quickly come, to life of all, for death is mighty all around. On every home his shadows fall, on every heart his mark is found. O oh, quickly come, for grief and pain can never cloud thy glorious reign. O oh, quickly come, for grief and pain can never cloud thy glorious reign. O oh, quickly come, sure light of all. For gloomy night broods o'er our way, and weakly souls begin to fall, with weary watching for the day. O oh, quickly come, for round thy throne no eye is blind, no night is known. O oh, quickly come, for round thy throne no eye is blind, no night is known. From the Magnificat Advent Companion, Advent 2023, published by Magnificat, New York, New York. Page 48, Wednesday, December 13th, Wednesday of the second week of Advent. The Axis of Powerlessness. A craftsman who built monastic caskets offered to make me one 
that would double as a wine storage cabinet until the day it would bear my mortal remains. <coughs> I never made the investment, but pondered how its principal axis would eventually shift from standing upright to lying flat. At least the celebratory sense of the wine cabinet would soften the sobering memento mori, the memory of death each day, reminder of death. I walked through my living room and saw it. Our advent gaze spans both the one who comes again in justice and judgment and the babe laid in a manger. Church fathers observe how the wood of the manger prefigures the wood of the cross. In both instances, the meek and humble Savior is yoked with our humanity and poverty, our sins and mortality. Jesus' life trajectory transitions from horizontal to vertical so that we might take his yoke upon ourselves and lay down our lives in gratitude for the perpetual gift he is to us. Devotion to the Christ child and mounting fidelity to the crucified Lord bookend our life's mission. As for St. Lucy, who invested her whole being in life and death witness to Christ, we remain steadfast and at peace when the wine of celebration turns sour and suffering befalls us. Our consolation and strength is the Son who wills to ease the sting in our hearts and lighten the yoke he shares with us. Reflection based on Matthew eleven twenty-eight 28 through 30 by Bishop William N. Johansson. Kindly Father, grace us with the wine of compassion that we might more readily wear our personal yoke and bear your son to others. <coughs> and from Sister Janet <coughs> Schaeffler, Dominican, <coughs> A Time for Holy Listening, Advent 2023. St. Lucy, December 13th, <coughs> Enveloping Light. They that hope in the Lord shall renew their strength, Isaiah 40, 31. Scientists tell us that the human eye observes only a small portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, 0.0035%. Other types of light, including radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, ultraviolet rays, x-rays, and gamma rays are undetectable to human eyes. What we see isn't most of the light. Virtually all of the light is the light we cannot see. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Lucy, who wore candles in her hair to leave her hands free to carry food to those in need. On this feast day <coughs> that celebrates light, we rejoice that even when we feel that there's no light, there's always extravagant light surrounding us because Jesus, God with us, is the always and everywhere light. The work of Advent is to be alert to all the light around us that we don't usually notice. There is more light around us than we can imagine. The light of the world is reflected through creation, through people, and through the happenings of our day. Instead of focusing on negativity, look around and notice the beams and glimmers of God's light that you might usually take for granted. Light of the world, help me be surprised over and over again by the radiance of your light surrounding me. As I glimpse you at work today, strengthen me to mirror your light in my world. And from the Magnificat of the that uh, Sister Schaeffler's <coughs> a booklet was printed by 23rd Publications, Waterford, Connecticut, in uh, 2023. And from the Magnificat of December 2023, Volume 25, Number 10, published by Magnificat, 
page 177. Come, O long-expected Jesus, born to set thy people free from our fears and sins release us. Let us find our rest in thee. Israel's strength and consolation, hope of all the earth thou art, dear desire of every nation, joy of every longing heart. Born thy people to deliver, born a child and yet a king, born to reign in us forever, now thy gracious kingdom bring. By thine own internal spirit, rule in all our hearts of alone, by thine all-sufficient merit, raise us to thy glorious throne. Page 177 in the December Magnificat, Meditation of the Day. Before Christ came, the faithful remnant of Israel were consoled with the promise that their eyes should see him who was to be their salvation. We too are looking out for Christ's coming. We are bid look out. We are bid pray for it. Consider what it is you mean by praying. And you will see that at the very time you are asking for the coming of the kingdom, you are anticipating that coming. When you pray, you come into his presence. Now reflect on these. You seem to say, I, I am in myself, nothing but a sinner, a man of unclean lips and earthly heart. I am not worthy to enter into his presence. I am not worthy of the least of all his mercies. I know he is all holy, yet I come before him. I place myself under his pure and piercing eyes, which look me through and through and discern every trace and every motion of evil within me. Why do I do so? First of all, for this reason. To whom should I go? What can I do better? Who is there in the whole world that can help me? Who that will care for me or pity me? or have any kind thought of me, if I cannot obtain it, of him. I know he is of purer eyes than to behold iniquity, but I know again that he is all-merciful, and that he so sincerely desires my salvation that he has died for me. I have an instinct within me which leads me to rise and go to my father, to name the name of his well-beloved son, and having named it to place myself unreservedly in his hand, saying, If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you. Psalm 130, verses 3 and 4. This is the feeling in which we come to confess our sins, and to pray to God for pardon and grace day by day, and observe, it is, very f it, it, it is the very feeling in which we must prepare to meet him, when he comes visibly. If we have lived, however, imperfectly, yet habitually in his fear, if we trust that his spirit is in us, then we need not be ashamed before him. We shall then come before him as now we come to pray, with profound abasement, with awe and self-renunciation, still as relying upon the spirit he has given us and with a collected and determined mind, and with hope, by St. John Henry Newman, who died in 1890, a cardinal, established the oratory in Birmingham, England. He was a preacher of great eloquence. Page 178. Christ is our light. Let us give thanks and praise. O Lord, we ask that you bless the light of our lives and grant that these candles may symbolize 
our being lit with the flame of the Holy Spirit. Your church witnessing in all the brilliance of its diversity in fidelity to the fullness of the faith. We ask this, Lord Jesus, for you are the light of the world. We ask this of the Father in your name and the power of the Spirit. For you are our one mediator with the Father forever and ever. Amen. Christ is our light. Let us give thanks and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Listen to the cloud that brightens, hearts that stumble in the shade. Hear the cloud of great believers, heed the witness they have made. Prophets who have raged in judgment, martyrs killed by flame and sword, bold reformers through the ages, common folk who loved the Lord. Here they made their costly witness, here upon this trodden ground, where the one whose path they followed with a wreath of thorns was crowned. Now they call from that dominion, past the range of mortal sight, joined with Christ in one communion of eternal song and light. Behold, he is coming amid the clouds, and every time I will see him. Revelation 1, 7. What St. Lucy saw with the eyes of her heart, she lived with the courage that shines as a beacon to all who await the good news of salvation. Yet her light is no more than a reflection of the light of Christ's face shining upon her in love. 1 Corinthians 2, 9, 10. What eye has not seen and ear has not heard and what has not entered the human heart <coughs> that God has prepared for those who love him. This God has revealed to us through the Spirit. I heard of you by word of mouth, but now my eyes have seen you. Job 42, 5. I shall deliver you from this people to open their eyes that they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of of Satan to God. Intercessions on page 180. Let us pray for the gift of light for the whole world. Give light to all eyes. You deliver your martyrs from death to life. Open the eyes of those who persecute your faithful to see the light of your truth. Give light to all eyes. You call your disciples to be light to the world. Let the fire of your love burn within us and shine forth in deeds of charity. Give light to all eyes. You are the light of life. Enlighten and joy those who have passed into the darkness of light, of death. Give light to all eyes. May the eyes of our hearts be enlightened, that we may know what is the hope that belongs to God's call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones. Amen. Ephesians 1, 18. Creator of the stars of night, thy people's everlasting light, O Jesus, Savior of us all, we guard thy servants when they call, thou grieving at the bitter cry of all creation doomed to die, didst come to save a ruined race with healing gifts of heavenly grace. Thou camest, bridegroom of the bride, as drew the world to even tide, Proceeding from a virgin shrine, the Son of Man, yet Lord divine, at thy great name exalted now, all knees must bend, all hearts must bow, and things in heaven and earth shall own, that thou art Lord and King alone. To thee, O Holy One, we pray, our judge in that tremendous day, preserve us when we dwell below. From every onslaught of the foe, all praise, eternal Son, to thee, whose advent sets thy people free, whom with the Father we adore, and Spirit bless forevermore. Amen.
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come thou Adonai of might, who to thy tribes on Sinai sight in ancient times didst give the law in cloud and majesty and awe. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou Saviour of nations, find in one the hearts of all mankind. Make war and division cease, and be for us the Prince of Peace. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Rael. O come, desire of nations free, thine own from Satan's tyranny. Break out from doomy clouds of night and hear. Thy soaring people's plight, rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. The angel Gabriel from heaven came. His wings as drifted snow, his eyes aflame. O oh, hail, said he, thou lowly maiden Mary, most highly favoured lady, Gloria. Behold, a blessed mother thou shalt be, all generations, Lord, continually, thy son shall be, Emmanuel, by seers foretold, most highly favoured lady, Gloria. The Virgin Mary meekly bowed her head, to me be as it pleases God, she said, my soul shall laud and magnify his holy name, most highly favoured lady, Gloria. <coughs> Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vite dulcebo, espe nostre salve. Ad te clamamus, exules filii eve. Ad te suspiramus, cementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. E a ergo, advocata nostra, illos tuos, 
misericordes oculos, <coughs> ad nos converte. Etie Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. <coughs> oh, 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 clemens, oh, 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 pia, oh, 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 dulcis, Virgo Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, of life, of sweetness, and of hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O Lord, as we continue our Advent pilgrimage, filled with the great hope of expectation of meeting your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, when he returns in glory to raise all to immortal life and to take his people home, let us be as eager to serve him as he is present among us in those who are in true need. Enlighten us, strengthen us, and grant that we might grow in perseverance in cooperating with your grace as we now prepare to celebrate the feast of the birthday of Jesus Christ, your Son. We ask this in the name of Emmanuel, God with us, Jesus Christ, true God and true man, who with you and the Holy Spirit is one God forever and ever. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Ave. Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieri bus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesu, Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, Peccatoribus, non catinora, mortis nostre. Amen. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. 